What did your friend do that accidentally turned you on? Hi reddit guys. Subscribe now, or I will be sad. A group of us went to a firework display and during the usual louder and bigger finale fireworks she jumped, grabbed my arm tight and didn't let go. Not sure what happened inside me, but yeah, that did it. That's some anime right there. Now we just need the part where she confessed, but the fireworks were too loud and you couldn't hear it. Anime ending theme song swells. Credits pass by in a corner of the screen. End of season. He was driving and I was riding shotgun. He had to reverse to parallel park and turned his torso towards me, putting his arm around my seat in order to look back. He did that so confidently and effortlessly that it made me feel a little funny. You mean my good parking skills could actually be useful? A colleague friend took care of my wounded knee during work. We were alone in the canteen and he was very sweet and caring. Guess I'm not used to that. A guy you me? I cut my hand at a previous job pretty good, and my co-worker came and he bandaged my hand up and I was like damn boy. Just being cared for like that is such a turn on. Ruffled my hair. It wasn't that big a deal, but she was one of my close friends and that just. Ro. Badgermin, I thought you were gay. No, you're the one who's gay. His name is missing punctuation. It should be. You're gay, friend. Badgermin. I remember a girl classmate friend liking the smell of my deodorant and just grabbing onto my arm and then proceed to walk beside me. What kind of deodorant? Nivea Men Fresh Active Deodorant. Nice job Nivea Men Fresh Active Deodorant Marketing Team. Write that down. She was pulling me like aggressively, but playfully. There came this weird comfort I had never felt even from my parents. LOL. It's weird. It isn't a known feeling though, so when it happens for the first time, it scares you. Whisper in my ear. Instant boner. Omelette du fromage. She asked me to touch her thigh. She was very proud of them after working out. Little did she know I really like thighs. We're engaged now. Narrator. She knew. Sat beside each other. She lied her head down onto my lap. I went into panic mode and promptly jumped in my seat, making her sit back up. You idiot. You are correct. We were sitting on her couch watching Thor Ragnarok. Finished our Chinese food, she went got a pint of Ben and Jerry's out of her freezer and she sat sideways half on my lap and took turns taking a bite and feeding me a bite. It was oddly intimate. But she made it clear she was convinced if we started to date we'd end up married, and she wasn't sure she was ready for that. Six months later we were dating. Six months after that we were married, coming up on our two year anniversary. I was making coffee in my Aeropress for us and pressing slowly on the top of it like you're supposed to, when she shouldered me over a little and leaned on my hand to push it down faster. It was cute as frick and I'll never forget it choked me playfully. Shocked the hell out of me. Now now Christian. Remember Jesus. When she put her hands on the back of her neck while leaning on the table and her eyes never left yours while listening to you. Instant turn on. Yeezy can picture this way too easily. I slept over my friend's house because it was late and I didn't feel like driving home. She walks out of the room to change into what she sleeps in which was a sleeveless band shirt with holes in it. The armholes were stretched and showed side boob, no bra, and just underwear bottoms. I made a move and we're married now. She insists to this day that she had no intention of seducing me. It's just what she's comfortable sleeping in. Saw side boob and lived happily ever after. Beautiful story. In high school a girl I hung out with changed clothes in front of me on the basis that well you've seen me in a bikini so whatever and I was like yup. Decide to randomly put their legs on your lap to sleep while in a car. Have this friend of mine. One day at home while we were drinking with some other friends she started singing. At that moment I looked at her and didn't just see my friend. I saw a very attractive young woman. 
I sometimes still see that moment when I look at her and shake the thought away. About a year ago I had the same thing with my girlfriend before we got together. I have had a thing for her for quite a while when this happened, but in that one night, where she drove me home from a festival at like 4 in the morning, she started to sing randomly to a song I happened to like very much at the time and it was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. I must have stared, because suddenly she stopped and asked if I stared, because I liked it or because of something else. So then I told her that I really liked her singing, which she obviously denied, because her singing was horrible. We said goodbye and I thought about what happened for the next few days. A week later I decided to ask her out and we are still together one year later. The power of the Spongebob theme song. At the school dance a friend who I had a crush on came over and sat on my lap. Despite there being plenty of free chairs next to me, and just casually had a conversation. She knew and was freaking with you, or trying to get you to make a move. You never know. Maybe she's Canadian or something. Pet my head. I'm sensitive up there. Um guys I found my dog who stole my phone. I'm not giving it back sick. It's only natural. He took your balls. You wanted revenge. A girl I became friends with on a school trip in high school fell asleep on my shoulders on the ride back. I'm 28 and I'm still coasting on that memory. An old friend of mine did this when I had a huge crush on her in high school. We're both happily married separately and still friends, but I still think about that night. It was just nice. John, you promised me you were over her. A core memory. We were both drunk at a friend's house party, and I playfully pulled her hair to get her attention. She gasped, and then gave a happy little moan. What made it hotter was the way she gripped the seat of her chair with both hands, and encouraged me to do it again, and so I ended up playing with her hair all night. I still think about her gorgeous bliss filled face, though sadly we never took it any further. I was going to post the same thing, except I'm the woman in this scenario. A friend of mine playfully wrapped my ponytail around his fist and gave it a tug, and it woke something up inside me. I couldn't help but make this little sound and looked at him with the most obvious bedroom eyes. We were sitting at our crowded lunch table too and the guy, who is the most shameless person ever, actually blushed for the first time I can remember. Then our friends proceeded to tease the it out of us. Bro, she's practically edging off you pulling her hair and she asks you to do it again to the point where you're doing it all night, and it didn't go any further? You missed a wide open layout my dude. As have we all. Youth is wasted on the young. My high school crush was sitting on a table during class and pulled me close to her and wrapped her legs around my waist to not let me leave. She was in cross country, so her legs had some decent power on them. Right after, she grabbed my arm and gently bit my forearm. Little did I know, she awakened two new things in me. Yeah I'm sure that was completely accidental, not dropping hints or anything. She was probably just being polite. You can never be too sure. Maybe she's Canadian. When I was a junior, I grew my hair out and had it cut to a 10 inches tail. I'm sitting in class one day and my classmate behind me starts gently running her fingers through it. I melted into my chair. My dad used to give me a buzz cut. 7th grade, year 8. I came to school with a buzz cut and all the girls in class just came to touch my hair. I got the best feeling ever, I was dreamy all day after that. Fingers through hair pushes one to horniness levels which shouldn't be possible. Washing your SO's hair is one of the most romantic things you can do. Boil quote. Voice. I always went by an abbreviation of my name. He was the only person to always use my full name. Dunno why but always made me weak. Big group. Two others share my first name, so all three of us were called by our last names. She would call me by my first name, and the other two by their last. I know that feel. This was five years back in high school. A female friend and I were put in a group together for a science project. We met up after school at her place, because no one was home and she didn't want to drive over to my place. As I was sitting on my laptop and reading, she scratched my forearm with her nails to get my attention. Man, um, 
Her look in her eyes and the scratches. I still remember that. The look in her eyes that meant. Um. Don't sit on your laptop we have chairs. This is legit some it my wife would say Lomeo. The question should have been. When did you miss obvious signals that your friend is DTF judging by all the replies? Half of me is happy that these people weren't trying to take advantage. But the other half is like how did you misunderstand that? I swear like half of these are she grabbed my arm a few times and the other half is she literally straddled me while I was laying down on a bed. Couch and said I was handsome. Nothing came out of it. I was once speaking to this customer and I couldn't understand her because of her thick Russian accent. So my co-worker stepped in and started speaking fluent Russian and I swear it was the hottest thing ever. I definitely have a thing for accents because that it was putting me in some type of mood. Frick. You're definitely a sleeper agent just saying. I had a friend lick my face as a joke. Because she was one of those girls that thought they were quirky or different for acting like a weirdo or something. It was like freshman year of high school if I recall correctly. It was definitely strange as hell, but Jesus Christ did she awaken something in me. I wasn't even particularly attracted to her. I was just licked and I felt the arousal creeping in. And I'm standing there like oh god oh frick please don't get a boner frick 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 no 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 no. Okay reddit guys, subscribe now, or I will be sad.